Zorster, women only want to control and gaslight you. Don't get a girlfriend, just use them. Zorster, um, let me tell you something, right? That is because you're speaking from your own experience. If you had a really bad experience, right, with girls, it can really fuck you. It can fuck you up. The worst thing is to generalize. You're speaking from your own experience. Doesn't mean you, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just assume and trust uh, girls unconditionally or whatever. Like you, you gotta just, you know, you gotta trust reality. But at the same time, you can have a good, a good partner. It is, it is definitely possible. Um, but it's a, it's a balance between two people. So yeah. Doesn't mean, of course, that uh, that you can be naive, of course. Yes, because I trusted her in the first place, not making the same mistake again. Let me tell you something, Zorster. When you trust someone, It's not the relationship with that person. It's a relationship with yourself. I think that's... I mean, it maybe sounds maybe simple, but there's a lot of depth in what I just said. Giving up on trusting others is giving up on trusting yourself. And it's a very dark place when you go that, 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 that way. It's very dark. Um, I know there is girls that are bitches, there is guys that are assholes, that's just, you know, how it is, but generalizing is, generalizing to cope with the pain is your own failure, that you can overcome, of course, but giving in, into that, like embracing that as, as a truth, is a coping mechanism that is not true, it's dishonest, and it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, that's when you truly lose. Like what happened with your girl, uh, that, that, like that, of course, it's a bad experience, the real price that you're paying, and you shouldn't even give her that, is for you to see the world that way, because that's much more pain than anything she could have done to you. Like internalizing it in a way that it just makes you see the world that way from now on. Like you don't even you don't want to give her that. You just don't even want to give her that. If you want to rally yourself up with hate or whatever in order to process what happened to you, then I would do it in she's not gonna make me see the world through that window. I'm not gonna give her that and of course that doesn't mean you have to trust or whatever everything you can't be naive but giving people a chance and giving yourself a chance to trust is really uh is uh is crucial in uh in a fulfilling life that's my uh that's my five cent by the way It's a really important tip. And I know it's hard, though. When it comes down to girls, what I realize with girls, they, have, they can really shape the heart of a guy. They can turn them into a rock. They can turn them into a lava stone. Or they can turn it into, you know, they, they, into something fragile, whatever, glass that breaks, whatever. But the key is to be able to, to channel these emotions and learn from it and, and being in control. Being in control by just holding on to
to your own true essence. Seeing that as, as the source of how you look at the world. Experience, it can be bad. Like, I mean, like, I have so much shit experience. Like, I, I go through so much shit in my life. Backstabbing, whatever the fuck, it's terrible. But I'm not giving up. Because at the end of the day, giving up because of whatever happened to you is giving up on yourself. And that also applies to trust or whatever. And don't give that girl that fucked you over that amount of impact in the rest of your life. Don't make her ruin every single relationship you might have in the future. Because I know a lot of guys do that. They get really heartbroken and they become true assholes. Even though they come and end up with a good partner, they ruin it. Don't give that girl that power over you. It's, not, it's a lot easier said than done, by the way. I know this. Uh, it's a very hard to properly process that. But uh, if you do, when you do, you'll be very thankful. Um, I'm going to be calling it a day here. Because it's, you know, nine. Mm, let me see here.